Jared Nelson for GoHighlanders.com. Another exciting night at the Riverside Sports Complex where UCR stretches out their win streak to seven games with a 14-3 victory over UC Santa Barbara. The win improves UCR's conference record to 6-5, and five, a game and a half back of both UC Irvine and Cal Poly for second place in the Big West Conference. UCR got on the board fast in the bottom of the first, scoring 200 runs on a throwing error by UCSB right fielder Mark Haddo. UCR loaded the bases with one out when yesterday's hero, David Andres, lifted a fly ball down the line in shallow right. Trevor Hairgrove elected not to tag, but Haddo's throw to the plate was up the line and got away from catcher Joe Winterburn and into the UCR dugout. Hairgrove and Getz scored on the miscue, and the Highlanders led 2 to nothing. UCR starter Eddie Orozco struggled with his command in the second inning, issuing three walks as the Gauchos cut the lead in half. UCSB picked up their second run of the game the following inning when Trevor White and Ryan Palermo connected on back-to-back two-out doubles. It didn't take long for UCR to regain the lead as they hung a four spot on the board in the bottom of the fourth. The offensive outburst was not without controversy, however. Ryan Getz led off the inning with a grounder to third, and Palermo's throw pulled White off the bag. The Gauchos disagreed and argued the call to no avail. Justin Schultz followed with a single to left center, moving Getz to third and bringing Tony Nix to the plate. UCSB starter Greg Davis threw his first two pitches at Nix for strikes, but the third was just a little too inside, hitting Nix on the hand. Home plate umpire Ruben Chavira originally called the play a foul ball, but after consulting with the rest of the umpiring crew and checking Nix's hand, they sent Nix to first on a hit by pitch. That call didn't sit well with the Gauchos either, and a two minute discussion ensued, but the umpiring crew, as usual, got the last word. Andres then came to the plate with the bases chock full of Highlanders. David rips it to right center field. It's in there for a base hit. Trotting home from third is Getz. Here comes Schultz around third. He will score. Coming around third base now, Tony Nix, he will score. Into third base is David Andres with a bases clearing triple. The Highlanders lead 5-2. One out later, Kyle Boudreaux's single gave UCR a 6-2 lead. It remained a four-run lead into the seventh when Orozco began to battle some wildness again. He gave up a one-out single to Moon and walked Derek Eligio and Sean Williams to load the bases. That brought Mark Garcia out of the bullpen, and after a sack fly cut the UCR advantage to three, Garcia recorded the final out of the inning when pitch hitter Lance Rinicky fouled out down the right field line. Catch it! Yes. The Highlanders broke the game open in the bottom of the seventh as they scored eight runs off of five different UCSB pitchers. Nicks and Harrogrove had the big hits for UCR in the inning as Nicks plated three with a double to right and Harrogrove doubled down the left field line to score two more runs. The Highlanders and Gauchos finished the series on Sunday afternoon. First pitch is scheduled for one o'clock. We hope to see you here. Go Highlanders!